Hello there. I hope you are doing well. Welcome to grade 4 mathematics. Today we are going to learn about number symbols. In grade 4, we learn number symbols from 1,000 to 10,000. In grade 3, you learned number symbols up to 1,000. Can someone tell me which number comes before 1,000? Very good. The number which comes before 1,000 is 999. So, when you have that 999, then you add 1, let us see which number are we going to get. So, the first 9 is in the place value of 1's. We are just going to write O for 1's. The second 9 is 10's. We are only going to write T to represent 10's. The third nine is hundreds. We are going on to write H to represent hundreds. Now, let us add nine plus one. We get 10. So here there is, in those tens, we Put zero, then we carry one ten. And put it to the nine tens. We are going to get one ten plus nine tens. We are going to get ten. So that ten, we are going to carry another one, which represents hundred and put it in 9. So we shall say 9 plus 1 is 10. The total number is 1,000. Like this. 1 and 3 zeros. Class, are we together? Good. So, let us read them in terms of thousands. This is 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, and 10,000. Now, before we arrive to 2,000, we can still count from 1,000 until we arrive to 2,000. How? When you have 1,000 This zero represent ones So we are going to abbreviate it with O The second zero represent tens We are going to abbreviate it 
with t. The third zero represent hundreds. And we are going to represent it with h. Then one, it is in the place value of thousands. And we are going to abbreviate it with th. Now, for you to continue counting until we arrive to 2000, we shall just write 1001. That means this zero, which is in the place value of ones, now it is going to become one. How? 1000. And one. Then you can continue counting. One thousand and two. One thousand and three. One thousand and four. One thousand and five. One thousand and six. One thousand and seven. One thousand and eight. One thousand and nine. One thousand. 110. Now that means when you arrive to tens, the other zero which was in the place value of tens, now it is not going to continue to be zero. It is going to be one. So it is 1000. You remove one zero, then you put 10. That's what we call 1010. Now you can continue counting. 1011, 1012, 1013, 1014, 1015, 1016, 1017, 1018, 1019, 1020. Now, when we continue counting, number after number we may take so long so we shall reach in some in a place and we shall arrive to a such number 1999 which number is that i'm saying 1900 199. When you have that number, then you add 1. That's when we shall arrive to 2000. Yes, I mean like this. Plus 1. We said the first 9 represent 1s. The other one, tens. The other one, hundreds. And then this one is thousands. Let us add and see. Nine ones plus one ones. We get ten. So it is zero, zero. Then we carry one ten and add to the nine tens. We shall get one plus nine. We get ten. Because it is already 10, we are not going to write 10. Now we are going to cut the 1 to hundreds. So 100 plus 9 hundreds, we shall get 10 hundreds. So you put 0, then you carry 1,000 plus another 1,000. That's when we shall arrive to 2,000. Are we together? Good. So, for you to get 3,000, which number comes before 3,000? Good. The number which comes before 3,000 is 200. Sorry, the number which comes 3,000 is 2,000. 
999. So, which number comes before? Comes before 4,000. 3,000. 999. So, you can continue writing the numbers which comes before 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, and 10,000. Now, let us read these numbers. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, and 10,000. Can we try to read reverse? Reverse means we are going to start from 10,000 to 1,000. We start together. 10,000, 9,000, 8,000, 7,000, 6,000, 5,000, 4,000, 3,000, 2,000, 1,000. Very good. Now, let us see whether you know these numbers. When I touch the number, you measure. Very good. I'm sure you have mentioned the numbers. That marks the end of our class today. Bye-bye. We shall meet in another lesson.